For this craft apprentice, uh, apprenticeship, uh, uh, it's a four-year apprenticeship. Uh, the first year is a year at solely at college, uh, and you do uh, two various courses. You do um, a theory course and a practical course. In the second year of the apprenticeship, you have one day a week uh, you're at college, and then four days a week you're, you come to work, and then the uh, third and fourth year you uh, is solely completely at college, uh, at work full time. Um, uh, but you concentrate on something called an MVQ during those two years. The reason I went for craft is just solely because it's um, more hands-on, it's on the aircraft, uh, fault finding, working as a team to get the aircraft out on time. So at the end of the apprenticeship, you'll be uh, you'll be classed as a skilled engineer, an aeronautical engineer, uh, with a, B a BNC behind you, which is the equivalent to two A levels, at either pass merit or distinction criteria. Um, and then you'll also have an MVQ, which is the skill-based side, which goes on to uh, your to, to, to make you a skilled man. Initially I went straight from school, uh, I went to college and done A-levels because I thought that was the um, best way forward and because that's the way that the school drove me down really. Um, however, after going to college and realising that's not the way I wanted to go through things, um, I applied to do an apprenticeship straight from, from college. Uh, and that's how I got into it really. So this type of apprenticeship I would have said would be suited to somebody who's um, not worried about getting hands dirty, um, hands on definitely, um, practically thinking, um, being able to work with others um, and, not, uh, and being able to really strive to, to get a job done as quickly and as well as possible. <laughs> I think the apprenticeship is hard to, to come across and it's well thought after. It's, it's an advanced apprenticeship meaning you get your A-levels alongside it. So to get the apprenticeship I'm definitely lucky. There's scope for um, working your way up the company, definitely. Uh, there's, there's managers now that I speak to and they started as craft apprentices which is good for me because I'd like to think one day I'd be able to make my way up there. Uh, you're working with other people. You get direct work onto the aircraft, which is excellent. Um, Hands-on skills uh, to learn your trade. And also, the best part of the job for me is being able to see the aircraft fly after you've worked on it. So if I was leaving school now and I was 16, I'd definitely be going to do an apprenticeship. The advanced apprenticeship is definitely an advantage just because you get your A-levels um, and you get that theory, theory base as well as the practical side. Um, also you're getting a regular income. Initially, you, you know, you come into the workplace and you think to yourself, well, you know, um, I'm not used to this, I'm used to going to school sitting in a classroom or college sitting in a classroom and then you get chucked in here. Um, yeah, you've got a well, you've just got to basically just get know how to get on with people, people skills, um, and if somebody asks you to do something, at the end of the day, you just crack on and do it to the best of your ability, and that's all they'll ask for it from you. As long as you work hard, do what you've got to do uh, to the best of your ability, 100% of the time, they can't ask any more, and you know they think a lot of you. Uh, personally, an apprenticeship to me would be the way forward. Um, again, like I said earlier, I wouldn't, I wouldn't have gone to college, but that's my opinion. Um, I would recommend it if I was leaving school right now, uh, and I, I would definitely do, do, do an advanced apprenticeship, uh, just because, again, you're, you're in the work environment, you're learning new skills, people's skills, you're getting the qualifications, you're getting paid, um, you're working on aircraft, um, and it's a, a lot more grown up environment, really.